Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Why don't you guys sit back and enjoy this video? Let's go for a ride. Like, comment, subscribe. Ring the bell. All right, so we are doing this video from the dark. We are over here in Georgia. Good old Shaw. I'm compelled to do this video just because I've been wanting to do this video for a while. And every time I go to do it, I change my mind and say, okay, things are going to get better. But I'm telling you, every time I do a shot, oh, what is all this nonsense down here? Every time I do a shot load, man, I swear I'll never do another one. Just like this one. Just like the one this morning that I picked off the load board. Got about quarter way there, and of course I get a message, load's canceled. That happens 90% at Shaw. I swear to God, it irritates the hell out of me. Every time it happens, nope, I ain't taking another Shaw load ever. So of course, dispatch right after he says that sends me another Shaw load. It's paying decent, it's ready to go, gives me the trailer number, go grab it, get the hell over there. But it's got a big deadhead on it, but it's still with the deadhead paying okay especially the day rate and the fact that I can pick it up early it's a drop and hook on both ends which means I can drop it early and get it you know extra load in right so it's like okay let's do it so I get here to Shaw drop the trailer first the uh, guard shack says well we don't have that trailer but go ahead and drop the trailer and go into shipping they'll hook, they'll hook you up so I do that and shipping's yeah we don't have that trailer you know you're gonna have to call dispatch I send dispatch a message Wait and wait and wait. He gets back to me pretty quick. The night guy that's on this night, he's like been there forever. I, I think he just does nights. I don't think he's a dispatch in training. But anyways, <laughs> he comes back and he goes, what, this trailer number? I said, yeah, can you map it? And he maps it and he says, yeah, it's over in Ohio. He says, so obviously we gave you the wrong trailer number. So I left, I said, okay, so what do we do? Question mark, question mark. And I haven't heard back from them yet. I did ask shipping in there, which if any of you guys pulled Shaw loads for, I don't know if it's all companies or prime, they know you need a trailer number. We ain't talking to you, but you know, because there's a goof, he said, well, I will tell you this. We are loading a trailer that's going to Salt Lake. It's due to be loaded by 4 a.m. You got to stay all by movie magic you didn't get to see me sneeze so it's due to be loaded by 4 a.m well the load i was picking up picked up between 23 59 and 4 a.m well we got here at uh, about uh 0 30, 0 0 30. so you know we had a little leeway now we got three hours to wait for four o'clock um so it's not a big wait but it's the irritation of Shaw always having a problem you know it um, I'll have to do a split sleeper now because I'll start it'll start burning on it well if it's done at 4 it's going to start burning up my uh, 14 but no big deal I'll do a 8-2 a, a split or a 2-8 two, a, a two split um, and, and no problem because uh, I started driving knowing that the load was over here. We shut Melissa down about 45 miles ago. And I took over just for the fact she was going to drive it all the way here. But it was like it was going to burn about 15, 20 minutes longer into her clock than I wanted. Because I wanted her to keep uh, recaps. Um, we've got a couple weeks we're going to be out. Then we got a, some important, important, majorly important stuff to do uh, over in the uh, uh, home i got it i'm gonna drop melissa off in arkansas i'm gonna run a few more days and get the, the truck to houston and then i'll grab my pickup and go home we'll talk about that in another video um but uh but yeah that's trucking man that is trucking and yes i sit and say i'm never gonna take another shot load over and over and over again but I'll take another Shaw load because that's Shrek and things just don't go right. It's just Shaw, you got about a, in reality, probably a 55% chance of having a problem as far as loads canceling. But I'll tell you what, every time a load's canceled, I've always gotten another load out of Shaw. It's just 
the load I got had was going to Denver, which is where I rather have went instead of Utah, because Utah, we're going to be running up over uh, the 80 and uh, through Wyoming. Ugh. Um, I don't like getting on that 80 corridor because when you tend to end up in Utah, dispatch will like to keep you up on 80. Um, here's what I'm hoping for. One, hoping for maybe a Chobani load out of the yard. Somebody dropped at the yard they picked up over in Idaho. Going to New York or better, going to Florida. Them bastards pay like yes. Um, even I'll even take a deadhead over to Idaho to pick it up and go over there, but I'd rather have it the uh, couple hundred miles already out the yard. Um, but I got a feeling they're going to probably give us something going to California. They've done that before. Uh, which would take us through Vegas. You know, we hardly go that way because a lot of times when you're coming from California, you got to go that way. You're going to be going up over Vail or through Wyoming. And I always take the 40, 40 over and up if I, anyone's curious on how I do it. I rarely, rarely, well, one, I'll never go over Vail. There's no reason to. Um, and then the other, who wants to drive through Wyoming ever? I know a lot of you guys are like, oh, Wyoming, we love it. There's money to be made over there. Okay, we can have it. Tell you what, there's your money. <sighs> so I guess I should shut this thing off and go get a couple hours of sleep before I have to uh, pick up this load, but I'm kind of waiting for dispatch to let me know Yes, that your load's still there. You're going to take that rather than going, no, that other load is already on a truck and you can, you need to go here, there, or somewhere, which would uh, really suck because I've already dropped my trailer and hopefully I just seen them go by with a prime trailer from where I dropped it. So they may, they might aren't good. They might have already grabbed the empty, which has happened to me at Shaw before, just an FYI, where we've dropped our trailer, we went to bed, uh, and about an hour before uh, the drop dead time, got up and there's a message from dispatch. Message comes in, load canceled, grab a trailer and go to uh, Walmart or whatever it was. And there was, it's like, they, our, we dropped our trailer in the door. We went over there like, oh yeah, no, we're loading it for another location. Sorry. <laughs> uh, that's trucking, man. That is trucking. Anyways, you guys are awesome. It's just... And FYI, I figured I'd let you guys know that. I appreciate every one of you. That's why you notice I always answer all of your comments. Um, sometimes I miss them, but I'll eventually I'll get to them because I do try to go back and look. We got that Facebook page, David H., Melissa H., husband and wife trucking across America. Oh, yeah. Peace out. Oh, make sure you eat tacos.